Okay, so uh, here today we have a patient that uh, is practicing their breathing exercises as we speak. She's had headaches for over six months. Uh, they've been uh, at the back of the head and going to the top of her head. When we looked at the x-rays, we saw, found some uh, interesting findings. There was degenerative disc disease at C5 and 6, which is the most common area for this type of disc uh, disease or disintegration, degenerative pro process. Uh, but if we look at the top of the atlas here, we see both sides of it a little bit indicating some tilt of that atlas, which can also cause headaches. We're going to look at the open mouth view over here in a minute. But if we look at this neck curvature, we see this typical um, post-injury or post-chronic uh, stress uh, configuration where the neck is reversed its normal curve. It should be a 34 to 43 degree curve forward. And this one is backward, causing the weight of the head, which is, uh, you know, a good uh, 8 to 10 pounds. I guess kilograms and maybe 15 pounds, which causes the weight of the head being held forward to come down and compress this disc over a period of time. The disc disintegrates due to that compression. We have to try and bring this head back over time and try to help correct that to take stress off this area. But in the meantime, today we're going to be doing a procedure for this lady who has contraction of the uh, muscles in the neck in this area here and the suboccipital muscles that has been there for a long long time so the muscles have actually become uh, hardened somewhat and fibrotic if we look at the uh, front view here you can see the significant angle of the uh, occiput and jaw is not at all straight it's on quite an angle downward and the and the and the uh, spine leans off to the right this is the right and that's the left there of this x-ray so then if we look at this uh, open mouth view uh, we're going to see a lot more space on one side than the other uh, indicating that there's a, a imbalance in the way that the top bone under the base of the brain is sitting that's important of course because that's where the blood vessels are that go up into the head so after we do the procedure on this atlas where we're going to literally move this bone over a little bit very specialized type of suboccipital spinal manipulation um, uh, that's going to increase the blood flow to the brain. It's going to decrease the pressure on the nerves. We're going to do this trigenics work on the muscles that attach these bones together. It's going to be a little bit painful. She's been taught how to breathe and move through it uh, using the trigenics procedures. So we'll be using some osteopathic mobilization and manipulation procedures as well as a little bit of chiropractic and then a lot of trigenics on this lady to alleviate her headaches. Let's just find out right now if she has a headache today or not. Castellon Piovalo Tano. Last night uh, he, she had some, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, aga Prago na, uh, ta, ta ei valuta, aga no, ma tunnen, et ei ole hea vai natuke. It doesn't feel good. Yes, yeah. yeah, so it doesn't feel good. Since we've been teaching uh, patients, I've only been doing osteopathy for 10 years, but chiropractic for 35, and we've taught the Estonian population since I introduced chiropractic in 1992 here for the last 20 years. They've now become quite familiar with what chiropractic is. So we talk about chiropractic to them and not as much about osteopathy, but osteopathy also is going to be used here today. Okay, so what we're doing is uh, she's going to, we're, we're doing this muscle in here right now. Inga sisse, laajast, tööle, lõvaks, lõvaks, lõvaks. Part of what we have to do here is actually teach the patient. Inga sisse, laajast, suru, teach the patient how to participate and how to move. This is hurting her right now. Suru, 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 suru. Lubox, Lubox, it's hurting her quite a bit, but she's doing well here. Keep her shoulders back. I don't want her hunched forward too much. Lubox, 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 Lubox. Lubox, Lubox. Inga Sisse. Well, yeah, I'm doing this procedure to make sure I don't press down too hard on the neck, which could cause damage to the ligaments. Lubox, have her neck in this vulnerable position. Lubox, Lubox. Mm-hmm. Lubox. Lubox. Inga Sisse. Valiance. Soru. Soru. 
Blue box. Blue box. Blue box. Blue box. Blue box. Blue box. Now I'm going to lengthen the little bit of scapula as well. Blue box. That's what I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep that shoulder back. Blue box. Blue box. The Westy. Got a really hard area here. Blue box. Blue box. What's that? So I'll just move her head a little bit now. Feel a little bit easier in there on that right side. Yeah, not to get, yeah, see, to not to get it's easier. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn this way. She's going to turn this way. She breathes out when I tell her. Breathing. Volume. Skera. What I'm doing here now is uh, I'm doing a, it's called a Trigenix uh, TS procedure for the leg of the scapula muscle, which attaches the scapula, the uh, bone here in the back, um, to the neck. The muscle comes up and attaches to the sides of the bones in your neck. And this is one of the typical muscles that uh, gets uh, chronically stressed with computer work. Hang it, sit, sit. She's going to push her head face straight down. Yeah, so we're doing a combination of soft tissue work to do a little bit of a breakup on the, fi on the sort of fibrotic hardened tissue, but at the same time, we're also neurologically changing the signal pattern of the muscles in the back of their neck so that they no longer are receiving too many signals. It's actually, this is actually changing the brain signals from the brain because of the fact that she's engaging in the activity. Ola, she's actually pushing her head face down and forward. That's causing a deactivation of the muscle that I'm uh, distorting right now. And then the distortion that I'm doing, Hinga Sissa, she's saying it hurts a lot. Mm -hmm. Good. Cool. So now we're just doing a small, small little manipulation in there to loosen that side up for her. This side won't really move too much, but I'll just make sure there's nothing down below that needs it. No, that's fine. So this is going to be a a little bit of a precarious procedure because of the fact she's got the uh, arthritic degeneration as of her age yeah, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But uh, when I do this atlas, which I'm not doing quite yet, but when we do it, uh, it's going to be very specific and very carefully done. So she's going to bring her right ear towards her right shoulder. Mm -hmm. so, Relax. I'm working on the middle scaling muscle right now on the side of her neck, which attaches the uh, sides of the lower mid vertebrae of her neck to her first rib. And if these muscles contract, it can cause compression of the nerves and blood vessels going into the shoulder and arm, causing pain and radiations and weakness in that area. This is almost always, uh, this condition that she has is almost always associated with shoulder problems. And there is a shoulder problem, they almost have, always have something like this. Certainly they have headaches as well. The bugs. So what we're going to do now? <laughs> she said that her nose opened up, mm -hmm. and she can breathe better now. Mm -hmm.
Hmm. Ja, see... Enne valu läheb kujuaks. Ja, ma tunnen, et mul hakkab nina tõmbab kujuaks ja siin ma tean, et Forsti hakkab pea ja valuta. Uh, before the pain, Aha. she's feeling that the, the, the nose is very uh, dry mm-hmm. and then the goes pain. Mm-hmm. But now? Now it's more open. Yeah, mm-hmm. yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's very calm. It'll be even more open when I finish with this. So now we're going to do the atlas manipulation, the bone of the base of the brain. I see what works. There it goes. Boy, oh boy. You felt it, eh? Mm-hmm. I have to be very careful with her. Because otherwise, uh, it was... Uh, In her case, I wanted to kind of test the waters to see. I did a sort of a trial, a little, a little uh, manipulation there to see what, how she would respond. And then I just knew what I could do and how far I could go with it. And, and then I was able to actually move it uh, without hurting her. That's the key. The key is doing something like this without causing any damage. <clears throat> get in and get out and get it to move and you can give, get remarkable uh, miraculous results for patients with headaches and whatnot, but you have to be pretty much an expert at it to do it safely. And fortunately, after 35 years, I have done thousands of these over the course of the last 30 years. Uh, I think we're pretty much at that expertise level. There you have uh, her uh, case. Uh, that was a uh, special uh, procedure, hygienics procedure we did with the <coughs> chronic neck a problem that she had in conjunction with a, an osteopathic um, manipulation of the atlas, which is the bone under the base of the brain. Yeah. How much better is it? How much better is it? Kui palju sa parem parem nii sa tunned ennast? No, ma tunnen, et ma saan kaela liigutada taha. Kerge on. Pinge, pinge on väikse. Ja tunne. What about seeing? Ah, näge mina. Ja silmad on nagu suuremaks läinud. More open. <laughs> More open. You can see better. Yeah. That's typically uh, what happens uh, because of the blood flow to the brain. Uh, is increased the blood perfusion, which was proven by uh, uh, a uh, medical doctor, a uh, PhD researcher in Moscow. In fact, I was in his uh, actual office looking at the research studies on the effect of this type of manipulation, and it showed the actual brain, brains before and after with the spectromography showing the increase in blood flow, and that's what she's experiencing with the eyes being able to see better, the warm flowing feeling, and the lighter feeling the brain actually is receiving more blood and there's less pressure on the nerves going up into her head. So right now uh, you don't really have the headache gone, yes? Peaval ei ole praegu. Ei, ma ainult tunnen seda surumisega ja katsumise kohta. Feels this parts where you're pushed. Where I pushed, but yes. the, the headache, the way that she knew it before. Yeah. Headache is gone, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Here we have another case of uh, chronic headaches, uh, severe headaches with uh, uh, some degenerative changes in the neck and whatnot associated with that and uh, we've just done the trigenic special procedure with the osteopathic atlas uh, manipulation under the base of the brain to increase blood flow, take away pressure from the nerves and the outcome is very happy I think. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, this is Dr. O and the Dr. O Show. <laughs>